Hey guys, Captain Walnut back with what could probably only really be described as a vanilla block breaker. Fully automatic vanilla block breaker that you do not need to AFK at. Um, yeah, so you could use this with a cobblestone generator like I have here, or with a semi-automatic wood farm. You know, the kind where all you do is stand there and right-click with your sapling in your hand, and it... Um, wow, that was a big explosion. <laughs> and it would fill up a uh, storage area with wood. And then you could have this here to destroy those with that wood, have it drop down into the hoppers below and get collected. Or with the cobblestone, um, if you have some big projects where you need cobblestone, you can collect it that way. Or, better yet, have it be fed into a, you know, industrial furnace array, like you've seen out there now, where you have tons of furnaces automatically getting refuel refilled and refueled, and then produce tons and tons of smooth stone. Um, so yeah, this system is pretty nice because it works off of mobs, like I said, you don't need to AFK at it or anything like that. Um, and the creepers and skeletons, you know, the creepers get angry at the skeletons and try to blow them up. What's really nice about this too, is that the skeleton, um, can survive for a really long time, because he's slightly far away from the explosion. Um, and it looks like I need a little bit more creepers in the system. Yeah, he um, he can survive for about 20 explosions, and he's standing on a pressure plate, so that way you know when he um, has died. So what you could do there is you could say, okay, stop sending creepers, turn off the clocks of the cobblestone generators so that they don't lag the server, um, and open and close the little trap door to send one more um, skeleton down. Now this is just a proof of concept, meaning I don't have this hooked up to a fully automatic mob sorter right now. I'm actually, you know, there's tons of them out there that are working pretty good. I'm actually working on one for 1.6.2 using all the new tricks um, and some slight changes in the AI. That is, um, as far as I can tell right now, it's 100% efficient. It's a, it doesn't ever, and here, there's a good example of the skeleton died. So the skeleton died. We still have some creepers down there. It's just one creeper. But the skeleton died. Um, and we can see how this thing would normally reset. But uh, there'd be a whole bunch of creepers waiting, but you can see here that even though they're down there waiting to come up, they're not going to come up for reasons I'll discuss in a second. Um, so new skeleton, you know, the, the piston opened because the pressure plate detected that the skeleton's dead. You put that there, the skeleton, that piston opens, you'd have the cobblestone generators turned back on. Um, you can see here that the snow golem's trying to shoot the skeleton, and as soon as he successfully does it, Come on, buddy. Wow, this is taking a long time. Usually he gets them pretty quick. There we go. And then the skeleton will start shooting at the snow golem. And the arrow hits these two pieces of glass here and falls down um, and hits a creeper. And the creeper, um, let me go down there actually. You can see here that the creepers are in a two block high area. Um, it's kind of hard to see because I'm inside the creeper's heads, but when they get hit, they actually bounce up, they do a little jump, and then they swim over, fall down, and they run to go get that evil, evil snow golem. Now, you can see that the creeper's getting hurt just a little bit when they're in here, whenever one of the creepers goes off, and that's okay because they'll usually make it up there to attack the snow golem before they take enough damage from, they can survive just as many blasts as that skeleton can, like 20 or 30. Um, because they're so far away from the explosion. Now, um, why this is good is when the skeleton dies, all the creepers that are in here trying to go get that skeleton stop being aggro, and they just sort of hang out in here and mill around. So eventually you'll kill them off by just having more and more explosions. So that way you don't fill up this area with too many spare creepers just running around. You can see I've got a few here, but they'll slowly eventually die off um, and not get in the way of everything. Yeah, you just have the hoppers collect everything, then it goes down, and there you go. You see I've collected a whole bunch of cobble and gunpowder since, well, you didn't see how much I had, but I've collected a lot. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so the way this thing works is we have the snow golem standing on a half slab, um, and he's looking through a little window there um, between the two arms of the piston. I hope you guys can sort of see that. I'm trying to get a good angle on here. Um, he shoots through the two arms of the piston, at the skeleton. 
And the skeleton, once he gets hit by the snow golem once, he gets aggro on the snow golem, and tries to shoot back. When he shoots back, he shoots through a little piece of string. I hope you guys can see it here, it's right between these two pistons, they're acting like bud switches. So whenever an item, or a mob, or whatever passes through this floating piece of string, it causes a block update, which I use here to s close these two pistons and block the shot. Now what's funny about this is that the string, the, the skeleton and the snow golem would treat the string like a full solid block. So I had to finagle this here. If I had the skeleton and the snow golem on the same level, um, so they're staring eye to eye, they actually wouldn't shoot because they would behave as if there's a solid block in between them. So I had to change, tweak the angles a whole bunch to get it so that the skeleton shooting at the snow golem in such a way that the arrow barely passes through the string. And once it passes the string, you'll see it goes down there. Now, I've got this set up in such a way that the snow golem does not get hurt at all, ever, by the uh, skeleton. He survived this whole time. Um, this thing could actually be a record farm, too, if you didn't have that water stream, if you just had the creepers sitting down there, slowly getting damaged by the arrows and waiting to die. Um, but yeah. So like I said, this is a proof of concept, um, and I've, I want to get a this whole system set up here with a fully automatic mob sorter like I was talking about. It doesn't use cats, it uses the new tweaks in the AI for 1.6.2 with the, you know, zombies and the way the skeletons and creepers behave. So, um, yeah, I want to get that thing out to you guys soon, so stay tuned for that. But, yeah, um, this is a pretty cool concept here. Fully automatic destruction farm, a vanilla block breaker, whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.